After all this time, here we are. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Luna Extravaganza. Today we are here with what I believe is episode 28, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're in my basement again. Uh, y'all are gonna see a little clip because I was testing out this location in my basement yesterday morning. Uh, so we did watch one of the butterfly teasers just because I wanted to test it out. So we'll go to that now and y'all can watch that. Not butterfly, but I'm talking about so what teasers. I'm losing my mind. So I'm filming this reaction to just one of the teasers because I really like this teaser and we're just going to watch it and talk about it. And it, it's the, one of the teasers for so what. So we'll just watch it so that I can see if this location is good enough. So let's bring up the video and let's go. It's the one where he just in the sky, you know? Spooky. Get out of here. Oh my god. When I first watched that, I lost my mind. I almost screamed because it scared me. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. I love how just looking at that, you can tell like that's Heejin. Heejin, my girl. Oh. So beautiful, ethereal, amazing, incredible. Who did who does stuff like this? Nobody but Luna. Heejin God. This is Heejin God. That's part of a theory, is that this means Heejin God. And I like how this, what she's about to do right there, is like a callback to High High almost. Because when she's running off into the sky, it's like she's stepping up a pit, like a, the way she moves her feet, it looks like she's stepping upstairs as well. It's like, it's like all connected, bro. <laughs> okay, now we'll go into the actual video. Okay, we're back. Hope y'all enjoyed that little thing, you know, like, that was fun. This location worked out then. Let's hope it works out again now. We are here with... So what today we are going to be react well watching I mean I've already seen it y'all know that I've already seen it uh so what by Luna as always this is my first uh Luna comeback as a stand because I stand like right after Butterfly uh so I spent a long time waiting <laughs> but we're here now with so what and we have a lot to say a lot to talk about so without further ado let's bring up the video and let's go I'm not gonna shut my mouth this whole time, okay? We're gonna be pausing, we're gonna be talking. There's so much we have to say. What a way to open. Can we can we talk about get out of here healthcare? Oh my goodness. What a, we'll talk about it, I guess. What a way to open. No music, just a creepy the thing. Of the moon. Yes. Get off the track. Yes, get off the track. Oh, so beautiful. Reveal to the world the hidden side. Yes. The way that hit. Can I tell y'all? When I was sitting on like, what was this, February 3rd? I can't remember. Whatever day this came out, in the morning, it was like five in the morning. I was this, I was shaking the entire way through. And like for a half hour afterwards, shaking. I was in shock. And I honestly, honestly, every time I watch it, I am now, still. We be in shock. Burn yourself. <sighs> Such a, what a way to like put it. Okay, hold on, before we like get in. Lots of people say that this like, the burn yourself is like them resetting the Lunaverse in some sort of way. And I don't really know how that works, but if it does, that's really neat. It's like burn the past image of yourself and then we'll start again. And that's why like the moon, which we'll see, I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about this now because it's gonna come up, but the moon, which is a very like representative part of the lore. What is going on? Uh, the the moon, which is like a very representative part of the lore, is burned in this music video. Olivia like burns the entire thing up, and is that like them restarting everything? Like burn yourself, start again, whatever. We're free. <laughs> Let's go. I talk too much, as I said. Yes. This dancing is gorgeous, by the way. Oh, I know, like, all the lyrics to the song, and it's a problem because I really want to sing along. Dungeon, beautiful. That hair, messy hair look, we love it. And this is the whole, like, Tenjin and Chetty are, like, twins, but not twins on opposite sides of the movie store or something. No idea. I love that transition. It's so smooth. It is so smooth. Ugh. Yes, yes. I love the all blue too. Eugene is so beautiful. Y'all see her hair? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, those hoopy things too. The power that Kimlet has in that one scene alone. Oh, Eve Ballerina, let's go. That's what I need in my life, honestly. And Yozin Rebellious Schoolgirl, that's what we all need. Yes. And Heejin just comes out of here, just like in Why Not, with a rap right after the chorus. Oh, this was a this was a reset. This was a reset of not even just a cultural reset. This was a reset of everything in the world, which makes sense. I mean, I said I was talking about how it's a reset. This line was a reset. This whole reset everything. The world, the universe, everything. The world stops, she said. Can I just talk about this does not look like Chu to me? Like, I know it's Chu and it looks like Chu. Like, it just doesn't have anything Chu about it. And yet it works so well. And the hair, like, like, it's, it's everything to me. Yes. Whoa. Olivia ripped that thing off just like she didn't have one butterfly teaser. Yes, Kimla, look at that way she's strutting. Oh, so powerful. Look at just in the back, I'm like... <laughs> they are looking respectfully. So beautiful. This dance scene is so powerful, I'm gonna lie. It's very, like, gray and, like, dystopian, kind of. But, like, I don't know, destroyed Earth kind of look, you know? VV, you don't get any lines in this one, but your shots in the video are impactful. Yes, Gojin. Also, I just saw her. I love Gojin's hair this era. The, the silver. I'm so sorry. We have to go and experience this at least three times. Was one time just to listen because that's the best bridge in k-pop now we're gonna go back and we're gonna talk okay i'm gonna talk about the visuals in this part of the song the music video gorgeous call back to the beginning ties it all up this the way they shot that in the crib is beautiful right as their hands like it cuts oh. close up on olivia's face that shot of yeljin is beautiful this shot of Heejin is everything to me. This is the best shot of Heejin that's ever been shot. It looks gorgeous. And the butterflies around Goa? I and mean, then why not? The butterflies are around. Well, there is a butterfly around Hyunjin at the end. Interesting. Yes, Lily. I said three times, but that's too many. Yes, <laughs> Yes, throw it. Look at that emotion. Olivia Hay actor. Someone give her an award. Oh. The yeah in the background when it's happening is see and there's the moon like melting. Can we talk about how gorgeous this is? What's happening here? Like really amazing, gorgeous. And this feels like a callback to a shot in Butterfly where there's that girl standing on like the edge and then there's like buildings everywhere. And now I think this is a Hejin or is it Chetty? I don't know. I think mm, it's probably Hejin standing there. It's like it feels like um like a parallel to that, but now this guy is like raining down. It's like a reverse. It's oh my god, it's like like everything like I talked about, like a Olivier was pulling the necklace off earlier. This is like that. Again, it's like everything's happening, but we're still only a butterfly. I don't know. Anyway, I don't suffer. Beautiful shots. I love that it's like everywhere that they are. It's just like things raining down. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to. I, there was some. This? Dang. So powerful for some reason. Just like the silhouette and the fire. The way that this part of the dance is so, is shot is so powerful. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Also, I love how they made this like, let's see if we can get it. Hold on. They made this like whole thing, this whole, they made this whole scene right here for like, not even a second of the music video. This whole thing for like 0 0.1 seconds and then it's gone. I appreciate the dedication. Feels powerful because it's like building, 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 building. 
up and everything is being like this is like the, the it's the end but it feels like the climax everything's build 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 and it's like i'm so bad and then it says free and it's like everything's been erased you know what i mean like everything is done now and now on to something new they're free from the past of whatever mess and stuff gorgeous also you know what this reminds me this right here reminds me of how Hasso finds Chu um, in the end of Heart Attack. It's not like the same angle, I don't think, but the way that it's like standing over and this time Hasso or the feathers are on the ground. It feels like a, a parallel yet again. And fire. There's something deep there too, because when in Olivia's music videos, when she is burning things, that's like her killing people, I think. I don't know. Like <laughs> if she killed if she did kill Vivi, then when she burned the cassette tape, that was her killing her. Um and but she also like gives anger, pushes anger onto Eve or something. I don't know, and burns her animal. But in this scene, Olivia's standing over uh feathers which obviously represent Hassel, and she is like reversing the fire on them. So like they're no longer burnt up. So that's something deep. There's something deep there. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me, but it's deep. And of course we always have our credits. Thank you. I saw credits for ballerinas. Thank you for the, thank you to the ballerinas. Thank you to DigiPetty. Okay. By the way, y'all, if y'all didn't know, oh my God, there's my knee. It's currently 12.49 in the morning, and I'm in my basement again, if you didn't know that. Um, my hair's a mess because I'm gorgeous like that. Anyway, <laughs> we only have we only have Why Not again to go over. That's like insane. That's crazy. After that, we'll probably do the dance practices, and then we'll see from there what I'm going to do after that. I've never actually watched the episodes of um, Luna TV. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a whole episode before. I don't know why. Just never did. So maybe I'll check out those. Who knows? You know, if you have something you want me to check out from Luna after the dance practices and stuff, let me know. <laughs> Maybe we'll do all the albums too. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Luna Extravaganza. And if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Before the end of the video, I just wanted to ask if you could please check out the link at the top of the description. It leads to a card that I made, which contains a bunch of links to other cards that other people have made that deal with various issues that are happening right now in the world. By taking the time to educate ourselves, we can truly create a better world. And if you look into these cards, you'll find so much information about so many injustices that are happening around the world and exactly how you can help, including donations, petitions, and other general education. Making sure that we are all educated and up to date on what is happening in the world can truly, truly change how these things play out. We all have a part in this and staying silent is no longer an option. So educate yourself, work together, and let's create a better world. Thanks. Peace out y'all, bye bye.